Hey guys, Rapping here. Um, today we're going to talk about split columns and walls at level. Okay, so so first um, here I have a project. So it's a very simple uh, pretend it's a building. Okay, so it's a multi-story building. So if I temporarily hide this wall, so you can see we have all these columns from the ground level to the top level and first I'm going to show you how to split all these columns okay instead of use SL split element individually do it do it individually okay so now so first before I start click on the click on one of the column I see isolate category so now on the screen there will be only uh, columns and then you can select all of them okay and I'll just create a selection so save a, a selection so here I'll explain this later so I'll call it full height uh, columns and okay so now go to collaborate and copy monitor and click on use current project okay so click this and here option so so we have this column option so this is the option we need to check so split columns by levels so check this one and also this, this here is the option so so original type so and then new type this will decide what type of column um, when Revit split this one so actually it's not split it creates a new column using the, the original column and the location of the original column okay and what the what the type of the new column is so here these are six by six um, concrete one and then so which is this one I believe and then this is the new one which matches um, the original one which is okay and here here we have some steel columns here so if I want to keep this type I just need to select the same type of this one so which is this one and okay so now what we need to do is go copy and multiple and select all of them and finish so now you will say uh, Revit create all these uh, individual columns at the same location of the full high columns and then now the step is um, we need to delete just delete the original one the full high one so in this exercise because I know exactly where my full high column is I just need to select this select uh, drag select this and then click on shift and drag select all the top little one so now we have all these full high column selected and then I can just type in DE to delete them but if your columns are all diff at different location different height um, hard to select uh, so we, we can just use the selection so click on what any two of the element so in here I'll just select one two two of these column this will bring up this uh, selection selection uh, menu and then we can click on this load and then this is the selection we uh, previously we saved so full height columns and OK so now we will have all the full height columns selected plus the, these two OK so now I'll just Click on click just click on the shift key and click on these two columns. So now we have all the full high column, so original column selected, and then typing the so now all down. So now if I click on HR, so 
and the temporary hardest one you will save all the columns from level to level okay this is level so now let's have a look at the wall, wall. Um, uh, unfortunately you we won't have this option here so see if I check this option of the wall you can duplicate wall but you won't have the option to split them by levels so we need to find different ways to do it so here I'm going to cancel this and I'll finish I'll just finish this so now we have let's have a look at this full wall so so first if you if your walls like very clean nothing on it no door no windows what I will do is I'll just select them and I'll just change the height of this so from ground floor to level one and then I still have this full wall selected Control C and come here along to select level one two so level one two three four one two four and okay so now I have all the wall okay so and also uh, let me just control C Z if you have so for example when when you have a wall from ground level to level one and you place some window for example some place some window there place a door here maybe and window here and then if you select all the wall you don't need to select the windows okay select this full wall control C and go here align to select level one to four okay so really it will automatic uh, copy all the windows for you at the same level same seal height okay so let me control uh, go back again go back go back go back to here and also I'll change this back to full high wall and and I'll just place some windows here okay and then I'll just do it on this wall I'll copy some window here so for example we have this and I'll select one of the window SA select all should be five so this filter can help you to say ah uh, if that's correct so for example this five I make sure there's nothing some potentially some other window some hiding somewhere I don't want to select them so just you can double check by click on this filter so see that's five that's five so that's that's correct and then control C I'll just paste this window to up, up levels and uh, so in case okay in case you have you already have this full high wall with all the wall openings doors windows you won't be able to do the the method the drop this wall down you can't do that because if you drop this wall down so you will lo you will lose all the windows openings doors up there okay it's gone so let me control Z and if you want to keep them while still um, you want to split the wall so what you can do is I'll just uh, temporarily hide this wall and then so as you can see the side of this wall and just use split tool and then you can roughly um, so for example roughly just click on the side of the wall this will split the wall uh, vertically or horizontally or vertically anyway split the wall um, and um, how do I say it? vertically uh, yeah, you know what I mean anyway <laughs> so now I can click on one of the wall and then I can just manually change the level top and for example this one I can change this to level one with zero offset 
and I can change the top to uh, level 2 top offset 0 so for example this one 3 with 0 and 4 with top offset 0 uh, level uh, what's wrong here uh, I don't know so let's have a look at this one so this one's 3 2 okay sorry 2 2 2 3 2 0 yeah good sorry so and then this one will be 3 with 0 offset and the 2 2 2 4 0 offset and this one will be uh, 4 with 0 offset and this one will be 5 yeah so yeah it's a little bit manual work um, yeah if, if if you find something or uh, some better method please let me know so so now all these five wall are separate and uh, and also you can see that's a lock there so which means if you drag if you drag move this down so the, the upper wall will come down as well to match all the top, top. yeah and um, what's this lock for um, not too sure looks like it locks onto something but uh, uh, create or remove a length or long constraint not sure no idea <laughs> anyway so yeah so this is um, how to split wall if there's already opening on it so um, that's it for today um, uh, if you have any question let me know I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.